In today's episode of Bubbles on the Rise, we're playing away at the Majeski Stadium against Reading FC. And when I picked Reading away as the game to bring you today, I knew there was a reason it jumped out at me, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And then I started researching what happened in the IRL game, and yep, the dark, awful memories started flooding back. And I'm just going to say the result and get it out there. We lost 6-0 with Reading getting goals from five different scorers. We was 2-0 down inside 15 minutes after goals from Gunnarsson and Nicky Hunt. And 4-0 down by half time following an Anton Ferdinand own goal on the half hour mark. And Kevin Doyle getting the first of his two goals on the 36th minute. And then obviously things didn't get much better after the break as Leroy Lita and Kevin Doyle's second of the game finished it 6-0. So I've got to put this right. Surely I can do better today. But since we've last been together, we've played four games with two wins separated by two defeats in the middle. Like a sandwich with the best bread in the world but a turd filling. First up we beat Newcastle, then we lost to Chelsea in what was a top of the table game and then we actually played Reading in the League Cup quarter final but we picked a rotated squad and we got spanked 5-2 but then we bounced back with a 3-1 win over Fulham which leaves us fourth in the table just four points behind Chelsea at the top of the league. Can we get a big, big win today and put those awful memories right in today's game? And now let's get into the team. The big team news today is that Javier Maserano misses out. He's got a twisted ankle, so he's out for three weeks. But that does mean that we've got a change in formation. We've got Rob Green in goal. Collins, Ferdinand and Gabidon are our back three. Koncheski and Mears are the wing backs. And then in the middle, it's Rio Coca and Mullins as a two. Just behind Carlos Tevez, who goes into the attacking midfield hole, playing as a Trek Artista. Just behind Marlon Harewood and Dean Aston. Can this please be the team to get us a result today? Come on, you irons. Here we are inside the Majeski Stadium. They've got Kevin Doyle and Leroy Lita up front. Gunnarsson in the middle. And a player I used to buy all the time on FM, Nicky Sori on the left. So quite a few names there I obviously remember from back in the day. And now let's go into the dressing room. Let's go ask me assistant. He set instructions for five Reading players. I'm going to go passionate. Uh, we're favourites. Go out and make sure they're left in no doubt as to why. No reaction. Come on, can I get a little bit of something out of you boys? Not much. That's not the best. And so, prediction time. I'm tempted to say 6-0 to completely erase the old game. But I'm not. 3-0. 3-0 to West Ham. Come on, you irons. First highlight of the game, and it's us with a free kick, 40 seconds in, and Dean Aston just curls that wide. Seven minutes in, Reading coming forward, Leroy Lita back to Nicky Sori on the left-hand side. Sori to Leroy Lita, who crosses it in, Ginger Pele heads it away, and now Gunnarsson too little. And Little with the ball goes out wide to Murty, who crosses it in. Lita with the header to Harper. And Reading almost took the lead there, but thankfully that goes wide. 31 minutes in, and it's us with a corner ball. Tevez to Aston, and Aston's header again goes over. Well, that's all for the first half. Not a whole lot happening so far. Reading have had seven shots, two are eight. One on target, they've had two or two. So the quality has been absolutely dreadful today. Let's see what I can do by getting into the tactics. There's got to be something I can change. Now what, I'm going to put Tevez as a shadow striker. See if that gets him into the game a bit more. And then we haven't got a deep line playmaker now. I think that's what's hurting us. So we're going to put Hayden Mullins in as the deep line playmaker. Leave everything else as it is. You know what? We're going to go attacking. I want to try and at least get a goal for you guys. So we're going to go attacking. Go into the team talk. 
and I'm going to go passionate. Actually, I'm going to go assertive. I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. And everybody's fired up. Everybody is motivated. Please let us get a win. Please. Half an hour left to go in the game. And Robert Green with a goal kick. Plays it long. Goes to Rio Coca. Now to Paul Koncheski on the left hand side. He's running down the pitch. Gets it back into Nigel Rio Coca. Who goes centrally to Mullins. To Tevez. And Tevez is running at their defence. He's gone for the shot. And what a goal that is. Carlos Tevez is 12th of the season. And what a goal. That is why I like having Tevez there. Running in from deep. Defences don't know what to do against him. And let's have a look at this one again. Mullins to Tevez who was in a little bit of space. But didn't get closed down enough. And then Tevez with a beautiful long range goal there. I want to try and get a few more goals now. So we're going a little bit more attacking, even though we are 1-0 up. We've brought Everington and Benayoun on, on the wings, in place of Koncheski and Tyrone Mears. A couple more goals would be very, very nice. So let's see if we can get them. Oh, 20 minutes left. And Reading oh, thought they were level off a free kick and a header there. But Robert Green with a very nice catch. And now, can he start a counter-attack? Rob Green with the ball, taking his sweet time, eventually he kicks it, it goes long, Everington doesn't get it there, and now Reading have it back, but Everington does win it there off him, and he plays it off the defender, back to him, and now to Tevez, to Rio Coca, to Dino Aston, goes out wide, and their man Seol heads it back to Nicky Sori, who goes long, and Leroy Lita is in here, Kevin Doyle is in, Kevin Doyle, and what a save there from Rob Green. And then Danny Gabadon just hoofs it into row double D. And from the resulting throw-in, we clear it, but it goes to Inga Marson. Maybe going for the extra couple of goals was a bit of a mistake, as now they play it all the way back to Hanneman. And what are we going to get here? Hanneman goes long. Little plays it back to Soji. And Lita heads, is unable to get it. We head it away. And now Tevez on the counter. Running from deep once again. He loses it. But it only falls to Harewood. Harewood on the edge of the box. Plays it back to Benayoun. Benayoun in. And he goes for the shot. And that goes over. But now highlights just completely non-stop now. 15 minutes left in the game. And Reading are trying to come forward again. But we get it. Everington is forced inside. And now coming over the halfway line. He's running from deep. Can he kick the ball through to a teammate? No, he can't. He goes for the shot. And that was wide. 10 minutes left now. Reading with a free kick. It's going to be little to take it. He's crossed it into the box. Rio Coca heads away. Goes to Gunnarsson. And Ferdinand gets it off him. But it only goes to Harper. To Little now in the box. He's gone for the shot. He's hit the post. And it's come away. Oh, oh my days. Five minutes left. Shorey now with a free kick. And Gunnarsson with another header. And that one thankfully also goes out. Three minutes left. Reading now with a throw in deep in their own half. And they play it back to Shorey. To Inga Marson. And now Hanneman. Can we get the ball back here? Are we even going to try it? No, we're not. Finally, Aston makes a run. But Hanneman clears it before he can get there. And now Shorey, oh, just about on the halfway line, plays it out to the other wing, to Kevin Doyle, to De La Cruz. And De La Cruz is coming forward, he's crossed it in, Ferdinand, oh no, oh no, oh you cannot make it up. Oh my days, Anton Ferdinand, just like in the real life fixture, has had a massive error. This one officially doesn't go down as an own goal, but it damn well should have been. Let's have a look at this again. De La Cruz crossed it in. It hit Ferdinand. Rob Green didn't make a move to get to it. And then Dave Kitson just tackles the ball into the back of the net. Four minutes left. Come on, can we get a late winner? It's not looking like it because it's been all red in since I made my tactical changes. And now Hanneman with the ball goes to Soji. Into De La Cruz now. And then it's Doyle who's playing rather deep for a striker, you have to say. And now, come on, get the ball back. We do. Everton clears it, but only as far as Gunnarsson. And now to Inga Marsson. And now what's going to happen here? Inga Marsson goes out wide to Sol Ki-hyun. Back to Nicky Sori. 
And oh, we tried to get the ball back there and we haven't. But Nicky saw his long shot. He's thankfully been saved by Rob Green. And now, are we going to get a counter-attack here? He's at least going to kick the ball long. Dela just falls straight down to Dela Cruz. And now Doyle. Out wide again. Sulky. Hewn has got space. He's gone for the shot. And Rob Green has made a great save there. We are hanging on. If we survive this corner, I'm pushing Ben Ayun and Everington back down. Come on, let's just survive this corner, please. Sorry, with the corner. Green with the catch. And now, are we going to get another counter? No, we're not. In fact, I'm not going to have to make those changes because we have got the draw. Should have been a win. Should have been a win. But a draw, I will take it. My tactical ineptitude has showed there. As, like I say, we've drawn 1-1. One, one. Dave Kitson with a last-minute equaliser. And now let's go into the team talk. And let's go assertive. Uh, that wasn't good enough. And yep, everybody's fired up. And just before we do get into what we're going to come back for in the next episode, the match stats, 18 shots, 2 are 19 Six on socks, they had two R7. We had a little bit more of the possession. So a draw, maybe the right result. And now let's go and see what's th what that has done to the league table and where we're going to come back for the next episode. The league table's looking like this. We're still fourth in the league. Still only four points behind Chelsea. But they have got a game in hand. So you would expect them to win that. But... We're in the Champions League places. I'm very happy with that. And so let's see, where are we going to come back? I think we come back for the first game in February. I think we come back for Wigan. I think that sounds good. So then I can do the transfer window and then come back and show you what I've done. And speaking of the transfer window, I've had an idea for this save that I want your guys' opinions and feedback on. I'm thinking of only being able to buy players that actually played for West Ham. That can be people that played for us this season, next season, any season where I can find players that have played for West Ham. If they're in the database, what do you think about that? Limiting myself just to players that have played for West Ham IRL, or do I go completely fantasy and have fun and try and buy the likes of Michael Owen? Wayne Rooney, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi. I think there's a 14-year-old Eden Hazard in this database. So do I go fantasy or do I go a little bit realistic and only go for players that have actually played for us? Let us know what you think down below. And that is where we are going to leave it for today, guys. If you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel for more football manager 20 content this series and the kings lynn walks to prem series that'll be back tomorrow with the first leg of the playoff semi-finals so that should be interesting and if you do subscribe smack that bell button so you never miss a video of mine follow me on twitter at bad jokes gaming and check out the passion for fm website twitter Discord and the Facebook and check out all the other Passion for FM YouTubers. All their details are in the information down below. So please check them all out. Very good guys. And yep guys, I shall see you tomorrow for Walks to Prem. See you later.